What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I'm extremely excited to announce to you that part 3 of my advanced Balkan Architect course on an office building is out. So uh, in today's video I'm just uh, doing an announcement, uh, this is part 3 that's now out. I'm extremely excited about this part just because now things are getting really exciting and I'm showing you some advanced uh, tips and tricks and workflow on elements in Revit. So basically the idea behind this course was uh, because a few months ago I did a course where I basically shown how to take a simple house from a sketch on a piece of paper to complete project documentation within Revit. Now that course was extremely successful so I decided to do another course on a more uh, more complicated building and I decided to go with a multi-story office building. So basically this is that office building and let me show you what's going on now in part 3. So we have already two parts out and today part 3 is coming out. Now keep in mind that this uh, course, uh, all three parts, all whole three hours so far are available on my Patreon, first link in the description, and I'll be uploading uh, further parts as I get along uh, with the project uh, in the weeks to come. I'm uploading one each week. So let's take a look at this model. So as you can see this is the model. And this is where we are so far. So last week we had just the uh, kind of the ground, uh, the the ground floor and the first floor completed. Now I show you in this uh, in this week's course how to copy that uh, uh, that first floor up to the second floor. So we're basically copying some of those uh, elements, and then uh, we're also I'm also showing you how to do all of the ceilings. So let me maybe go into one of the uh, 3D views like this one. Okay. So here, as you can see now we have all of the ceilings done uh, okay we can't really see anything from this big plate so let's delete that okay so here as you can see we have ceilings everywhere I have a different ceiling for the interior and a different one for exterior just because you have to have a different ceiling it's a different material so I show you how to construct those two uh, different ceilings then I show you how to start adapting your uh, curtain wall and the curtain grid and as you can see we've added all of the elements like this uh, like rotating door over here the revolving door here we have just an automated sliding door and up here as you can see on the in the office we have all of the windows set up and all of the mullions are perfectly aligned we have a perfect grid here we have these corner mullions everything is aligned perfectly and also if I go and let me open up this is the thumbnail for this video and as you can see uh, these parts here where the curtain wall is uh, masking off certain construction elements and over here where we have all of the like the floor elements I have added just mirrored elements or mirrored uh, solid pieces of uh, glass so you can't really see what's going on inside just because that's hiding all of the construction but then above where we have actual office space and we have open flo floor area there we have glass and as you can see of course this is a window on that glass so that was that was the idea behind this project just to show you and and also here as you can see everything is fitting in perfectly everything is lining flush with the with the ceiling everything is just aligned perfectly and I show you all of the tips and tricks on how to adjust this perfect uh, curtain wall uh, in Revit so that's what this course is all about I'm extremely excited just because there's not really information out there on things like that and uh, the, the whole workflow when working with curtain systems like this one so I'm, I'm really happy that I've been able to create a, a course where I really show you in depth during the whole hour how to uh, solve each of the problems like how to solve the corners, how to solve uh, the grid, how to add the windows, how to align everything perfectly. So I, I'm extremely excited about this course. Maybe I haven't said that uh, enough times. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you want to get the full hour first link in the description or actually full three hours as well as all of my other Revit courses. I have 30, out, 30 courses out so far and I'm adding new ones each week. So join the community. First link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, for this video. I'll be back with another regular YouTube uh, Balkan Architect tutorials in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.